you're going to have to optimize your resources as you go through into this season ahead. Say out loud, there ain't nothing I can't multiply. This is the mentality we have to have this year. See a resource the way he sees a resource. But one more thing, you're going to have to review. What am I really, it's the word I gave Mary. You're going to have to review. What am I really going into this year? See, I've gone very carefully since March 2020 just to know my war when I got to the door of my entry this year. I'm not going in with the bio from the last season. I'm going in with the testings of the last three years that have produced a testimony. Because I know with that, God promises me I can overcome. I'm going in knowing His Spirit is flowing through my blood, and by His blood, I can overcome. I'm going in knowing the Word is on fire within me in a new way. Now, I want to leave one scripture. Next time I come, I'm going to have to minister this. There's something else. Before I leave, you have to learn if you'll release a blessing, it can come back to you 1,000 times. I'll have to give before I leave here. I have to release a blessing into this so it can come back to me 1,000 times. That's a principle of success. It's right. It was what the Lord taught his people before they ever went through the door. He said it. Then there's one other thing we're having to deal with this year because... And I really think you're key. And Aaron, just go ahead and skip the next slide and go to this next one. See, in our watching, the Lord says, you got to watch the house this year. That's why I feel like my first assignment. My first assignment after the head of the year I needed to be in what we call a church because this is the year he relooks at the house. See, we've been in a kingdom season. We haven't been building the church. We've been getting the storehouse ready for what's ahead. We've been moving forward. But there was this obscure passage from Ezekiel that the Lord revealed to Brian and I one morning when we were seeking the seeking him and he took us to this passage in Isaiah and and Ezekiel and it says afterward he brought me to the gate now this was last year uh, about 4 months past before we got to the year of the gate. But all of a sudden, this whole chapter illuminated to me. He took me to the gate. And the gate faced the east. That's the gate that faces for the glory to come. And the Lord said, in this year of the gate, the glory is going to come back to my house. So be watching for my glory. Be watching it when you gather together in what I call church. See, church can mean fellowship. Ecclesia can mean government. And he gets down here and he says, 
Son of man, I'm going to show you the description of how my glory will be contained in days ahead. And then he gets to verse 12, and this is really what spoke to me. This is the law of the house of the Lord. I don't think, and I have read the Bible probably 150 times through. I don't think I ever recognized that verse. I think it was something so new for him to quicken in me this year to say at the door of the house I'm going to apply the law of the house the law of the house of the Lord and notice what it says here the whole area round about on top of the mountain. In other words, at the door of the house, I'm going to apply the law of the house, and it's going to affect the whole mountain you're sitting on. Now, we have that teaching from way back on the mountains of society. But the Lord said, how I move from my house will affect the mountains of society. And you might want to look at each one of those mountains and say, Lord, who do we have in our network in each one of those mountains that we really want to convene and talk about this? But it, what he's saying here, it's got to come from the house. That was the part I would always say in the past. I'd say, yeah, but you still have to have an altar. You, of course you can. Have. I taught Bible study in the business world. And it got so large, it was over 300. And I said, but that still wasn't my altar. My altar is where I'm giving into and I'm sacrificing and I'm, I'm really worshiping. Not where I'm teaching. And he said this, Mount Moriah shall be most holy separated and set apart. Now, I can't teach on this today, but I'm going to say this. When you go back to Mount Moriah, the Lord said, Abraham, here's going to be your last and final test. You're going to bring Isaac. Abraham had already had to give away one son. He had gone through so much stuff with Sarah that not many of us would survive all those rough edges. Ten distinct testings that Abraham had, but this was the last one. He said, you're going to have to come up to Mount Moriah. So what it said to me, the law of the house is established on Mount Moriah. 